Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man uh, version of uh, this beautiful mod. Oh my gosh, it's time for an extremely heavy 30 to 33 um, enemies sort of mission. We can theoretically boost the infiltration. Make it a bit easier, but that also means we're taking less corpses with us. I think 30 is fine, and I'm confident in our ability to handle it. Let's get going and get ready for a massive fight. All right, we just landed. Let's get this party rolling. I'm expecting only the worst, usually in those missions where Probably even at the start, already finding a clumped up sort of enemies. The fact that the map takes ages to load already tells me that we're in for a nasty surprise. Good, it's relatively straightforward, guys. We gotta eliminate all hostiles. Uh, got some solid full cover over here. I like those because they are indestructible cover. We got some high ground over here, which I like even more. And from the composition of our squad, we unfortunately don't have a shinobi, so no one's being stealthy. Let us start with Fury here, taking the first step. And like I mentioned, we're going to see a cluster F of enemies. No surprise whatsoever, to be honest. Okay, we could hit two of them in melee. Fair enough. Moving up into half cover. I'm on it. Time for a nice fortification. Let's maybe control one of the drones. Just forget, good measure. There we go. That Galen Poe does a nice job here. The drone all of a sudden becomes the main target. Good. If we're moving over here, going in with a fortification. Let's see, we could move over to here. Like that idea. It seems that we're going to flank one of the enemies. That's what I'm talking about. This might be a kill. Great. Ooh, nice. We got... Uh, I've, I almost forgot. We got... Um, we got the run and gun. Not run and gun. Um, gosh, the ability... I'm blanking on the name. The ability that lo uh, allows you to move after you've killed something. Okay. 
Just out of curiosity, if we were to move to here, that'll be another flanking spot. Not the worst idea. Same question here. Um, what I don't like about the spots over here is they are very much prone to be flanked. So you could simply go over here and flank us. It's a great spot though. So let's move to here instead. Nice. All right, fortifying us. And let's take the Sidewinder down. That's a gazing shot, but we get another one. There we go. That's pretty good. That is pretty good for a starter. We could use an explosive um, grenade, but I think I don't want to do that yet. to another decent position over here. Fortifying ourselves. Fifty fifty to hit those guys. And the surveillance drone would immediately die. Dark Tower moves a bit further back. Out of range for most of the enemies. Let's start hitting the drone. Good enough, it's shredded and low on hit points. That's exactly what I wanted it to be. Which means this here is a pretty solid chance of actually killing it. Great. Increases focus. And with Perry, plus being the one up front, there is a pretty solid chance that uh, he's going to take the first hit. Moving all the way over here. Again, just trying to find some decent cover, to be honest. Oh, there's another sergeant. I didn't even know about that. Okay. On the yeah, we can't unfortunately just stand here. It's not going to work out. Which means we're going to move all the way back here. Running. Sniper needs to be first and foremost safe. Running. 
And I think Sirkim is okay over here. I'm fully expecting that we're going to see one or two poison spits. I have been expecting a chosen one. Ah, I was hoping for the warlock to be honest. All right, let's double check. She's immune to explosions. She regenerates lost health. Takes increased damage from close attacks and hates skirmishers. Okay, well. We just gotta spot her out and then that shouldn't be a big issue. We just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. Yep, that's all fine, Bradford. Don't wet your panties. We're going to deal with her once time is right. All right, that is pretty dire scenario. We're almost triggering that pack. Did we just trigger them? Shit, we triggered them. And there is another pack which we hopefully do not also trigger. Well, look at you. Your forces go weaker with every breath. <laughs> we have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. There is the spit. Well, my oh my. This is escalating more quickly than I anticipated. And good old chain panic. Perfect. Yep, squad mate panicked, shattered. Very nice. Half of our team doesn't feel like fighting anymore. Revival protocol. We got two soldiers that are currently not able to fight. I think we can... I, I want to still keep one more revival protocol. We can just pass on the sniper for this round. Instead we're alien Edgar Alien Poe takes a shot himself. Good. That's one more down. Okay, so we can at least see the enemies over there. Just out of curiosity. Oh, that would be so slick. Do we have lightning reflexes? Yeah, we do. All right, moving up. Well, this is going to trigger a few overwatch shots.
Lots and lots and lots of lightning reflexes, alright. Okay, good. So we're going to give a team work over, mainly because now he still has two movement actions and with these movement actions, with two movement actions, he is fully capable of rocket launching without missing a tile. Love it. Before we do so, Fortification doesn't cost us anything. Very valuable rocket. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Awesome, to be honest. All right, time to deal with the admin officer. And now I also remember the name. It's called Implaceable which we're going to use to very soon move him there. But before this is done, let's deal with the Viper, shall we? Nice. Very nice. See, we got the captain back there. Hmm, so, fortunately we can't just charge in. Well, Fury here probably will need to take care of the captain. The other alternative is, hmm, I actually like that a lot. Nice little inversion. Sucks being you, Captain. <laughs> Costa does uh, one um, focus though, but I think in this particular case, it made a hell lot of sense. I wouldn't want to move. Let's first uh, get rid of the poison. Renman here moves up just a little bit. What's his chance of hitting this guy? 46%. Weapon range is also already very close. Yeah, let's go with the reload. Ready to rock. 
and kill him with that eye. Minimum damage. Mm. Very unfortunate. Moving to here to not pull the other pack and maybe trigger the last overwatch, that's fine. Let's try to stun him. There we go. Moving up to here. And we're fighting against one pack so far. Another one will probably join us very soon. Everyone's in full cover, with the exception of our assault here. So we're doing fine. Okay, they're still trying to fight the uh, fire onto the drone, which is okay for me. I don't mind that. Is that all you got? Are you shitting me? We're being shattered again. Well, talking about low morale. We certainly need to give them a break. They're shaken. But I wanted to do the mission, so here we are. why we're still shaken with the sniper. Good. I mean, I don't want to trigger the other pack to be honest, so we need to play it a bit safe. Got an outloader here. Might as well go for the advent and kill it. What the actual fuck? All right, he can see everyone. Yeah, I still don't want to use the revival protocol. Not enough damage. would say we should mm, well gotta be careful I need a position but we're actually flanking a lot of them 
but I also don't want to trigger the other pack. We could go here, kill the stun lancer. Problem with that is I want Fury to to build up rage, respectively focus. So what's the best play here? Hitting it is only four to five. It's not gonna kill it. Renman could move up all the way over here, essentially take a shot. But that would be the same topic. He has pretty powerful gun. You know what? It is what it is. We're taking the overwatch shots with lightning reflexes. I'll still keep the run and gun. This here will probably kill him. But so be it. Good, we could move up. Question is, what is a good position? This here isn't bad. This here isn't bad at all. This here is an option as well. We need to get into cover ourselves. Out. Just want the full cover for now. Let's get rid of the sergeant. There we go, sergeant done. Time to go for the sentry. Very nice. Thanks to the autoloader we can continue our onslaught. And we might even be able to kill the gunner. Very good. Okay. We're definitely thinning out the ranks. Since we have such a really good position, might as well consider Move over here. Hmm. On the other end, I like his position. Never mind. Let's go over here. Understood. Moving out. Okay. So, what we can do is... We can put run gun in. Moving up to here. Running. We have plenty of defense. And We could go for the Rocketeer. 50-50 to stun him. Might as well just kill the soldier over here. There we go. Check it before you get too close. 
it's so tempting to rush in and hit him and rush out again but we know there is another pack there right Flying up here, just so that we're the best target. If he targets the drone, we're going to be fine. Alright, the pack moved. Currently they can only see the drone, I'm not afraid at all. Good, let's hit this guy and get back into cover. There we go, unfortunately no disorientation for him and we also didn't crit. But to be honest that was to be expected. We are running out. And very soon the Chosen should show up. Three mutants are a problem. We need to deal with them. The Berserk definitely is a problem. You cannot hope to ever attain the power of the Elders, much less those who serve them. Alright. <laughs> nice. A grazing hit. Good, another suppression. Even better. Suppression? Yeah. Don't use your rocket. Perfect. The drone still stands. Unbelievable. Let's see what the Chosen is doing. Hopefully not interfering. Would be nice if she could stay out of the combat for one more round. R% shot for a few targets. So, stunning! Let me stun the Berserk. <laughs> so good! That is actually brilliant. That is freaking awesome. Okay. We're not melee taking any of these guys, we're not crazy. But it's time to kill the Rocketeer and get our focus back up. We also revealed the Chosen. Ah, she can walk that far. Let us maybe not find out. I am pretty okay with not finding out. Let's see. If we can one-shot the mutant, dead eye. I got a piece. Solid hit, not a kill though. Okay. 
All right, moving forward. I'm on the move. We are automatically reloading. Time for some rapid deployment. Whilst we're at it, let's hit both of them. Moving back. It's good that we have spotted out the Chosen. Alright, we could put Dark Tower here and essentially let him flame through them. Roby's moving over here into full cover position where we might be able to take a shot or two. Gosh, they are very well protected. Let's see if we can remove some cover. It seems we can't really do that. I mean, this here could remove some cover. Let's try it. It's definitely going to uh, shred him. But it seems as if the cover is still stable. Going to aid protocol nasty here because he's the only one in half cover. And it's probably not a bad idea to already start hitting the big guy. Fifty-fifty, we can kill him. He's down to one hit point. Yeah, we could kill him with a grenade. Another 60% chance to actually kill him. Fortunately, a miss. Yeah, no point in charging out, out, out there. Okay, so we could move up to here and then basically throw the grenade over. That'll let us be out of line of sight completely. And that's one less mutant to deal with.
Good. We got a disoriented and the normal mutant left. Uh, this guy will be stunned for one more turn. That's pretty sure that the assassin will join the fight now. Also, we just lost the hack. Unfortunate. That's a double move. Let's see what the uh, assassin is doing. Vanishing wind is not a bad idea. Alright, Dark Tower moves in. I like the idea of him actually being able to hit her. I also like the idea of him toasting both of, uh, both of these guys. If they are starting to burn... Alright, one of them is dead. One of them is dead, the other one... Is sort of trapped there. I think, given the circumstances, if we were to find an option to essentially get rid of uh, the lost armor, not the lost armor, the chosen's armor, we should do it. So. It's time for a frag grenade here. I was wondering if we can hit the drone on top, but that's probably not the case. She's immune to explosions, but she's not immune against shredding. Pretty solid chance of hitting her. Given her immense level of danger, we might want to focus her. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, we're going to focus on her. Good enough. Come on. Let's hit her. Nice. Very nice. I like how Rapid Fire doesn't have a cooldown here. Now we're still going to take two shots, even though it's only 33%, specifically since we can theoretically graze her. Never 
commit to strike unless you are truly ready. It is but a scratch. Moving in. So we're pulling not another pack. <laughs> All right. But we just pulled another pack, including a Centurion. Fuck it. That's a problem. Oh my gosh. That's going to be painful. Alright. We're parrying. You might uh, think that I'm crazy, but I'm not. Wait for it. Time for teamwork. We have nothing to fear. Suffer my rage. And there we go. Chosen down. Whew. Good. We still got momentum and we got one parry already up. Sesson was defeated. At one time, it would have been unthinkable that I might ever fall in battle. Now it appears Could move up to here. Sure we're doing that in a second. Before we do that, let's go to here. And this is basically a flank. Might even be able to kill him. No, unfortunately not. Gotta deal with the Berserk. Very soon it's going to awake and it's gonna be very, very angry when it does. Fury is getting back into full cover. Overall a good turn. We got the Chosen. We killed most of the packs, but now having the Centurion. Ah, that is... That is not good. I'm not sure why he's reflecting, he should have parry. Well, look at that. Unfortunately, the, the one person who can remove um, obsessions and other negative effects just decided to be shattered as well. Oh boy. This is not going to be fun. And another Berserk. Great. Oh, 
Oh boy, that pack is way stronger than I would have anticipated. We're getting our asses kicked, guys. How could he miss that? <laughs> 